Hello, everyone. It's Mike Schoonover with the 812 Living Group and host of the 812 and You blog. Hey, in our effort to showcase and highlight local businesses, we always want to bring you kind of the new kids on the block, new businesses that have that have started in our area. And so today I have the privilege of, of having Jeff Mayotte, who's one of the co-owners of Fostered Up Art in New Albany with us. Jeff, thank you for joining us. How are you this morning? I'm wonderful. How are you? All right, doing well, doing well. So, hey, let's jump right in. You got a, a new business there in New Albany. You've joined a really a thriving local New Albany business community. Tell my followers, my listeners about Fostered Up Art. What is it? And where did the name come from? Uh, most certainly. Uh, so first off, we, we have gotten nothing but uh, welcomes from the, the small business community around here. So um, we couldn't have picked a, picked a better location either. We're at the underground station. Uh, and so it's a uh, really great location, great community uh, where everyone's welcoming you. Um, so we're uh, actually a, a Christian veteran family owned and operated um, business. The name actually comes from a saying that one of their uh, uh, family friends started many years ago. Um, the, the Fosters had a tendency to run to a lot of bad luck. And so there was a joke that started going around that, you know, whenever something went wrong, it was getting fostered up. <laughs> However, uh, with all the fostering up that happened to them throughout the years, uh, they can always laugh it off and uh, find out um, some kind of beauty in the next thing that was going to happen in their lives. So we decided to play off this uh, because with us being a Bob Ross studio um, where we'll be teaching Bob Ross classes, which is oil paintings and such, uh, Bob Ross used to always say there's no mistakes, only happy little accidents. So similarly, uh, our saying is nothing is too fostered up to still be beautiful. So, so that, that's, where, that's where the name comes from. So if, you, so if I'm, I'm in there in painting, I will inevitably foster up my painting. And you're yes. saying that's okay. It can be, it can be fixed. Exactly. The, the majority of people, we will always foster something up, you know? And so whenever we do, thankfully there's a uh, Paul here that will be able to um, help us you know, fix it and make it beautiful. So, so, so real quick on that, the, the, the foster family, I'm assuming they, they take that as an honor to have, have that be named after. Yes, yes. So uh, we were we were talking about it whenever we were coming up with the name, and uh, myself, my father-in-law, my wife, and mother-in-law, we were all brainstorming names and stuff. And I had heard them use that before, you know. Well, some of them got fostered up, and so I heard. It, I was like, "Well, how about we just call it Fostered Up Art?" Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's great. So That's it's, great. Yeah, it's kind of kind of an honor for them to have that on there. Yeah. So. So tell tell us a little bit about the studio, and um, you know it, it's a Bob Ross. If you look on the website, it's it's a Bob Ross studio. Tell us a little bit about the studio, what you guys are accomplishing there, and and why Bob Ross. Oh, most certainly. So uh, we are having classes uh, twice a day uh, on from Tuesday to. But for, I'm sorry, excuse me. From Tuesday to Friday, uh, the classes are at twelve and at. Five and then on Saturdays, uh, classes are at um, ten and at five. So it, I'm sorry, ten and at six. So what this allows you to do is uh, you can look on the website, see the class we're doing. You can just show up, um, or you can book online and come in. And what Paul does is he leads you uh, step by step in how to create this this masterpiece. But what he'll emphasize throughout the class is that he is teaching you the techniques to do these paintings. So you can um, buy the paint from us, from us, wherever you'd like. And from home, you can have a canvas and recreate this picture or something else. Because while he's teaching you mountains and trees and, and valleys and, and all those, he can you can go home and redo a picture. You could create your own picture. You could have a picture of mountains and uh, ocean right next to each other if you want to. So. What he's doing is he's teaching you the picture that is being shown for your class, but he's teaching you the techniques um, so than anything. So he wants to stress you having fun and enjoying yourself while you're here because painting is a, something that is very relaxing, uh, very therapeutic. So by, by us not just teaching you one specific painting and allowing you to go home and do it, hopefully we you know, create something for you to help you further down the road as well. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, I got to stop into the studio there last week, meet with you and Paul and get a, get an overview of it. And a couple of things that stood out to me that set you apart from some of the other painting uh, businesses that we have in our community is that really it's a, it's a pop in. I mean, certainly you can sign up and you have scheduled events, I believe, but you can pop in really uh, Tuesday through Friday and, and take a class. And, and really Paul is, seems to be a teacher at heart. And like you said, it's not just, I'm going to show you how to paint this one thing. He, his desire is to teach you to fish essentially to teach you a technique that yes. you're going to end up yes. with the painting that you're working on there, but maybe you can go home and, and work on more later. Yeah, so Tuesday through Friday and, and Saturday as well. Uh, we're, we're actually open on Monday, uh, but we don't, uh, we're not providing class on Monday. Uh, but you can, everyone's still welcome. Uh, every day of the week, we're in here besides Sunday. So people are allowed to come in, look at his paintings, ask us questions, uh, talk to Paul specifically. Maybe if you have uh, just questions about your technique, if you came to a class and like, I just can't get this right. If you come by, Paul's free. He's always more than, more than willing to help you out and re-explain stuff and uh yeah we're just one of those one of those shops where you can come in you can uh talk to us you can sit down in a chair and, and hang out we don't mind you you being in here even when we're not having a class or if we're having a class uh we have a very open environment where if we're having a class still feel free to come in and walk down and see the merchandise chat with uh myself or my wife while Paul is teaching a class, you can come in and stand in the back of the room uh, and watch a class, even if you didn't pay for it. Uh, we, won't, we won't provide the supplies then, but you can definitely still watch the class. Uh, uh, and we have a TV up front, so you could watch the class from uh, in the back or up front and just enjoy it. You can come in and relax. So uh, even if you don't want to attend a class that day, come by and see us and say hi and check out what kind of art is being created that day. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I, I just just meeting Paul for for the little time I did, you know, on your website, you describe it not as an art class, you 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 describe it as an art experience. And and meeting Paul certainly feels like it's going to be an experience. So what what can people expect during a class with Paul? So well, they can obviously expect to have a, an adventure because from the time you walk in uh, and long after you leave, you know, we, we, we make you part of our family and Paul's going to joke with you and laugh with you like your family. He's going to share some, I think he shared some with you, some stories about Bob Ross that uh, you probably never heard before. Um, you're going to get messy. Uh, so it's old painting. So you're, de you're definitely going to get messy while you're, you're painting and, uh, Paul, I mean, I think even last week, Paul had to uh, take a baby wipe and get some paint off someone's nose because uh, they just couldn't locate it. So, uh, <laughs> but we're, we're very embracing uh, whenever you come in. So, uh, but expect to to have fun. Like, don't like don't come in expecting um, an intimidation factor uh, because Paul, um, or if you talk to any of us, we're not going to point out how this painting is more difficult than that. We believe that anyone can do any painting. Uh, so it's no. He will stress to you that it's not going to look like his painting or Bob Ross's painting or even the student next to yours because this is your artwork. Uh, you you have to find the beauty in it. You have to have fun doing it. And if you want to add stuff to your painting, um, I know a lot of other places it's, uh, you have something you paint and then that's that's it. But like this is with it being this kind of technique, he's going to encourage you put apples on your tree, put a stream going down the mountain, put some birds in the sky. And if you don't know how to do those, ask questions because he's he's willing to come back there he'll stop the, the what he's teaching in the class to come back and help you to draw a bird you know some people can't do an m so they want you to come back there and uh, help them draw the bird yeah uh, all that so he is very interacting with with the class so it's not you listen to me and we're going to paint it's hey paul i can't get this mountain right or my colors aren't mixing right and he will come over and, and help you he'll give you that one-on-one -on -one time that helps you get the color or the the technique that you want yeah. Yeah. Teacher at heart is, is kind of what I, what I picked up on. And, you know, I'm yes. sitting there talking to him for probably 40 minutes or so he's painting the entire time, but just telling okay. these captivating stories one after another, where it had just kind of had me, had me mesmer, mesmerized. So it's an adventure, it's an experience, not just an art class. I love that about what you guys are doing. Um, Jeff, any any special events or anything coming up for Fostered Art that uh, we need to know about? 
Uh, yeah, so we're actually, uh, we're going to be at the farmer's market this Saturday. So I was going to have a booth and he's going to be doing some paintings right there. So he'll, he'll probably do uh, two or three paintings while he's there. But as uh, you said, Mike, feel, everyone feel free to come up and say hi to him. He'll talk to you while he's painting. He actually, he loves to talk and he loves to paint. So doing it is uh, wonderful for him. So just come on up, say hi to him. We'll have some some paintings varying in sizes available for purchase as well as um, some of our Bob Ross merchandise that we have. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, we're also very, I apologize. We're also very excited for, uh, uh, the, to be at Harvest Homecoming for the first year. So we haven't, um, with us being new, we haven't been there yet. So we're very excited. We all grew up in New Albany and love, love Harvest Homecoming like everyone else in this area. And, uh, we'll see it from a different side this year. Yeah. Yeah. Glad to have that event back. I know that's important for a lot of the local businesses there. So, yes. So, uh, Jeff, where can people find out more about Fostered Up Art, uh, and uh, where can they sign up for classes? So you can sign up at uh, fosteredupart.com. We have our classes and our merchandise and our gallery uh, up there as well. And when you go there, it, um, there's a $50 non-refundable deposit. But if for some reason you cannot make your class, you just call us and we can help you move that deposit to another class. So uh, don't let that um, steer you away because we can, we can reschedule it. Uh, if you need to. Uh, and then we're on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. We're, we're pretty active on all those. So if you if you watch on there, we actually have um, sales going on uh, quite often. Uh, we like to give back to the community. Um, we had something on Friday the 13th. We'll uh, have a lot of stuff in the fall because uh, we do a lot with, we want to do a lot with veterans and um, single mothers, single fathers, all that stuff. So we'll have a lot of, a lot of different sales coming up in the months. So definitely be watching our social media pages. That's awesome. That's awesome. So he's Jeff Mayot, Fostered Up Art. Welcome to the 812. Welcome to, to New Albany. Glad to see you guys up and running. See some of the paintings there in the background. Folks, go to the website. I'm going to put the link in the in the show notes below. We're, we'll do a little bit more on the blog. Uh, some some of the I'll detail some of the conversation that I had with Paul. So check that out. But definitely go visit Fostered Up Art in New Albany. And uh, it's, it's more than a paint class. It is an experience and it's an adventure. And I uh, can't wait for you all to meet Paul as well. Jeff, thanks for joining me today. Hey, if you'd like to have updates on Southern Indiana events, news, and real estate information you can use delivered directly to your email inbox, visit us at 812living.com backslash blog. That's 812living.com backslash blog and sign up for alerts.